wish I had a choker, that would look perfect! So I used a hairband and I totally attached it at the back with a bobby pin. So, there's that. Everybody. Happy Friday! So today I'm going to be showing you my favorite things in the food department. Any vegan YouTuber that I've seen talk about their favorite junk foods are American or British. I live in Canada. Canada gets everything less, including Pokemon Go, which by the way keeps just crashing so there's not really a point in even playing it, but it's really fun and I'm like level four. <laughs> So, today I'm going to be showing you some Canadian vegan snack foods. Yay! First thing I'm going to talk about is chips. I found these. These chips are the sh kale, which I usually find disgusting, but these were actually really freaking delicious. And then there's these that say protein on them. Red lentil made me think I was having something healthy, but I mean they're chips, so... Let's be real. So these are gluten-free, vegan certified, organic, California Republic, whole grain, non-GMO, also no, no nuts, and they're kosher. Really like these. Um, I'd like to say that I didn't have them all um, in one night, but um, I'd be lying. So, but as you can see, I bought them at Fortino's, which is a Canadian, I think, grocery store. Yeah, I think I also saw them at Metro. So, hello Canadians, you can also buy these at Metro, I think, sometimes. You know, things come and go, especially when they're vegan. Next thing I'm gonna move on to is snack bars. Snack bars are the bane of my existence. And I always just eat the entire box in like less than a week. My mama came and took me to Costco. Thanks, mama. She hates when we call her that. She hates when we call her, we call her mom. Anyways, mom, thanks for coming and taking me to Costco. There, I saw these. In this package, I think it was like 15 bucks, something like that. It came with two flavors, banana and chocolate. Come on. And also just regular plain old chocolate chip. Luckily, I've only had one of each of these flavors, but that's because I'm trying really hard. And like, I'm probably gonna eat four of these after this because man, they're delicious. They're free of eight common allergens. Peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, eggs, wheat, soy, sesame, and fish. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> These are good. Kind of, I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna eat all of them after I end this video. Let's try not to. I know I said that bars in general are the bane of my existence, um, but to be more specific, cliff bars. I cannot go a day without eating one of these if they are anywhere in my vicinity. I'm at summer school right now and there's like a little union market inside my school and on my way to class I pass by it and they have cliff bars there. So I was paying two and a half dollars to get a cliff bar before class. That was, yeah, that was a waste of money. My, when my mom took me to Costco, we got these. Um, she dropped me off on Saturday at probably three o'clock. And um, yeah, this is almost done. Thank you. Stop being so delicious. These stuffered smoothies. <laughs> So pretty much it's kind of like dehydrated peanuts that have been turned into butter, but they're dehydrated. You have to put water in them to hydrate it. When you try your best but, but the best part about it, what does it say? Well, it's 85% less fat calories than regular peanut butter. It still has sugar and salt, but I mean, you know what? We don't care about that sugar and that salt. We need those carbs. Get the carbs into your body. So this is good. I've just been adding it to my smoothies. I haven't actually tried it as like an actual butter yet, but I'm excited. I might do that before work today. Yes. It's got five grams of protein and 45 calories per 12 gram serving. And just to compare that to some craft peanut butter that I have right here that I did not eat with the spoon, um, no promises. Oh, it's still in there. It's got, per one tablespoon, which is 15 grams, it's got 90 calories. 45 in comparison to 90 is a big difference. So, so that's good. It's very good. Um, also, don't really pay attention to the um, falling pictures in my background. Yeah, it's been really hot here and they just keep falling off and I'm too lazy to put them back up. So, next thing I like to add to my smoothies is raw organic cacao powder. Cacao! Cacao, cacao, cacao. It's actually really good for high blood pressure, which I'm not even sure I have but it's chocolate, so um, I'm gonna eat it. 
It's really important to not have a lot of this, just so you know, even though it is um, raw and pretty good for you. Yeah, so I just add this into my smoothies. I try not to do it every day though because it is addictive. It's a drug, it's got caffeine in it, it's got, a, it's got all that good stuff. Make uh, peanut butter chocolate smoothies with banana and sometimes I added blueberries, strawberries. It's, it's really good. Don't worry, I'll make a recipe, you'll see it. I bought this at Fortino's. I also saw it at Costco. On to the meat substitutes. I like the taste of animals but I don't like eating animals. So, meat substitutes, it's perfect. I saw this in the freezer and I died. Pretty much it's vegan meatloaf with gravy, which is the thing that I miss the most. So it says now vegan, which I guess it used to not be vegan, but props to you, Amy. You're moving up in the world. Yeah, this was really delicious. Since it's not very big, it kind of makes it seem like it's gonna be like a full blown like meal, but I had to have it with some other vegetables and stuff. But this is really good. So if you see this, definitely buy it and try it out. I also got this at Fortino's. I also saw it at Metro too, so you can totally get it there. Um, this is my all time favorite meat replacement. It tastes exactly like ground beef, which is really scary, only without the death part. And I use it in almost everything. I use it in my pasta recipes. Uh, I make tacos, sometimes I make wraps. My friend Tim, who you guys have met before, he really likes this and he actually bought it recently. This packet, big package, um, actually comes with four and it was only $12.99, I think, and I bought this at Fortino's. You can also get it at Metro, though. It's the bomb. Other meat alternative I've been using is TVP, which is textured vegetable protein, which is made, I think, from soy. And I buy it from Bulk Barn, which is, you know, sprinkled all over Canada. Not, I only use it twice. I think I used it in a sauce one time for my pasta, and then I also used it with my gnocchi, which is also one of my favorite things. It's really good, and a lot of the time it's vegan, just check on the package. At Fortino's, they have these packages that are like this big, um, that are just like 99 cents, and it's really good. Obviously, you shouldn't be having it all the time, but it's really good, starchy dinner. All right, that's all I have for you this week. It's really hot in my room. Thanks for watching, folks. Try out some of these foods, even if you're not eating plant-based, just Try them out, I promise you're gonna like them and it's much healthier, there's no cholesterol, um, there's no death. You know that death taste, it's just, mm, no thank you. Hope you guys have a good week. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Yeah. See ya.